bitch. Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up? Um, here, I just want to talk about some few things. And it's very frustrating, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, because I, I had it recorded. And uh, I freaking, I get, I get kind of gung-ho about, like, clutter sometimes. Like, I'll be calm for a second. And then I'll have this moment where I'll just get gung-ho about clutter. And I'll just fucking just start wasting everything i'll throw everything in the damn trash can and it happens it these phases happens to me uh every now and again and it happened when i was looking on the computer uh when i realized that i could uh consolidate and crunch files uh that the original file uh i would delete so there was a video i had just recorded and obviously i deleted it uh, because I, I i i put it in the folder with all the other completed files and i seen that it was the large folder and I had not converted it yet. So I just, um, you know, I, have, I had not crunched down the file size. So basically I deleted it. So I'm re-recording it uh, now. And uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be as long as that one. That one was like an hour 37 minutes. And then it was like, obviously at least that amount of time, a little bit more to record on the computer. But it happens if you if you get every, every now and again, just like, if you have this knack against clutter, you just uh, could cause you to do something that is impulsive, uh, and uh, that's what I did. Okay, what I did, what I did was um, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, what I did was impulsive, not compulsive. Okay, um, but you you have to utilize those moments because when usually when I am impulsive. Uh, I am more in a um, objective and autonomous uh, mentality or mind state. And these small seconds that you lose uh, between uh, deciding to leave your house and leaving your house can be uh, extremely valuable. You see what I'm saying? Because oftentimes we lose a lot of time uh, between uh, you know what I'm saying? Deciding that we're gonna leave at a specific time or house and leaving at that time for these micro moments, I'll just call of where states where individuals, I suppose, would trance out or miss time to some extent. And these are not like long daydreams or anything like that. If you have ADHD, maybe you can experience some things like this. And <clears throat> this is generally also tied uh, or, or correlative with uh, 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 in, in impulsivity. And these slips in the mind um, actually uh, are slips that slip as in like if you think if you're driving a car and your transmission slips, then what happens ultimately is if your mind does this at the same time, you know, give it to the fact your nutrition, maybe you're not having enough rest because diet does play a particular role and pertain to <clears throat> my body is secondary to my brain function pertain to if I was going to adjust or prioritize my diet. I want my 
body to be secondary to uh, my brain. Although heart health is, you know what I'm saying? We can't, we can't fuck with the heart. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take care of your heart. But like, <clears throat> I really like to be a high functioning brain, ha have a high functioning brain. Um, so diet is one, 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 uh, one portion of this. And this, this would put me in somewhat of a situation. If you think about how you want to operate as an individual, if, 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 if what type of diet would you eat? And seeing how I prioritize the brain, I, I, it seems like I would fit in with the uh, Mediterranean or the, or the, what do they call it? The Pescatelian uh, diet, or where I would, I would eat a lot of fish. You see what I'm saying? Um, uh, seafoods and, and, and things of this nature. Um, but given now, like, you know, the quality of the food, the things we don't hear about so much, like, you know, the oil that was leaking into like the Gulf of fucking Mexico, uh, we heard about that for some months and then it, it just fucking disappeared. I mean, it seemed like it was starting to get resolved and there were some shaky, funny, hazy issues around that fucking issue. But, uh, 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 uh. We never got to see like the fucking resolve what happened. If they managed to stop the fucking oil leak in the ocean, and then you had the 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 nuclear situation over in Japan, so to speak. So when you think of Simpsons and the three eye fish or the fish that's over in the pond over here that uh, can see you, even though you're kind of up an embankment and on a sidewalk, these fish can see you outside the water, and this fish will literally, if you if it notices you paying attention to it will swim the fuck off okay which is crazy it's like the fish is more conscious than the human beings walking on earth okay and as students pertaining to following the teachings of god uh you can say that we <laughs> we are as these fish and if these are just two natural occurring supposed mistakes or accidents quote unquote so to speak uh, pertaining to um, what type of what type of things may affect our choices pertaining to our diet if we want to be conscious about what we put into our bodies uh, as students as being more conscious you know what I'm saying this these details here would be uh, important articles of news in which I would want to follow since you know that would pertain to my ideal diet if that is something that I want to uh, 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 engage in but um, Anyway, so I got on a tangent. In this tangent, we, we were talking about diets and diets were correlated to your brain and these small micro moments that you lose when you slip into these uh, states, okay, uh, 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 of mind, okay, um, within the brain and how that brain can be triggered and how it reacts. And, um, and, 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 and it's good to be consciously aware of these things and reflect on these things in order to review your brain uh, pertain to as a a, uh, a firewall, okay? Even amongst your own thoughts, being aware of your own thoughts uh, or, or what trains of thoughts cause you to drift in a direction that would cause you to uh, potentially go to sleep, okay? What type of uh, habits or, or, or addiction, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, <clears throat> but oftentimes, uh, 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 our brain and, and given the fact of that Kathy O'Brien book uh, Transformation of America which I, I haven't gotten to read it but I've seen an interview before and she talked about certain things but predominantly she, she, she and listen I hope she's not watching these videos because she's gonna fucking she would totally get upset at me saying this but I'm sorry during the interview it still appeared that this young lady was traumatized and I'll go quite as far as in the fact of the Kathy O'Brien uh, interview to realize that she has been body snatched, okay? Uh, the only reason that woman seen the light of day and was able to uh, speak about the things she speaks about is because, um, is because uh, she was body snatched. She got, she got possessed. Something possessed her body. Uh, individuals may then correlate uh, what causes you to be different um, than that individual. Um, given the fact of the, the periphery of, of topics uh, that you talk about uh, may be something that somebody is thinking. And predominantly it will be in 
twofold indication of thought. One in the adversarial quality uh, pertains to uh, 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 based upon in, some form of, of of enmity or envy. Okay, and in the in the in the other basis of curiosity, out of sincerity, wondering if uh, I as an individual can be trusted. And, and I will tell you this clearly: you could trust me because I'd be quick to tell you to trust nobody. But measure the things that I say, the valid, validation of the things that I share with you and see if they are correlative and they are things that are real to you. Things that you seem to, you seem to align with or, or begin to become aware of in society of the many things that's happening around you, okay? Uh, because I'm not getting paid any money, uh, I, my situation you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I can't have a lady. I can't, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I can't have like, I can't have too many things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we've been in this debacle so long. Um, you know, I don't even know if I'm going back to Hyperia anymore. Like, I don't know if I'm on my way, if I'm going to see my kids or anything, man. Um, because this is just taking so fucking long. I can't, I can't fucking... I just can't take it uh, uh, due to the boredom, you know. I I, I can't I can't uh, I can't be this fucking bored, man. But I, I I want to point this out to you guys. The <laughs> situation of impulsivity or compulsivity, which the two would seem to be uh, almost intimately tied together. Okay. But uh, except for the fact that one is 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 a situ is, is a situation of an instance, and the other is a situation of a pattern of familiar instances. All right, which would correlate with the term compulsivity. Um, but oftentimes we miss moments of times due to these different trains of thought that comes up on our mind, and these seductive thoughts, these sirens or mermaids. What they do is they they lead us in a, in a certain direction or way of thinking. And when we are led in a certain direction or way of thinking, okay, it often leaves someone uh, going into a, either a bit of a stupor or um, uh, being tranced the fuck out. Because these spirits want you in a situation uh, as a Manchurian candidate, uh, because when you, your mind, uh, when you follow these trains of thought or whatever, then eventually you could run into uh, the potential risk of, of, of becoming uh, 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 tranced out, you know, as if the brain, uh, 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 um, uh, as the brain becomes, you, you know, overstimulated with, with concerns, third wor worries, or thorns, which may be, which may be uh, um, thorns, which may be conclusive with. Uh, uh, personal troubles or, or, or concerns pertaining to, to, to this world, right? And either these rays that come from someone's mind are going to be thorns that pierce their thoughts and cause these concerns or worries, or they are rays which uh, connotate an individual's uh, liberty or freedom or, or, or some form of, of, of mastering uh, to some degree their own mind, okay? Um, so this is one thing these little slips that slip by us every single day when we're trying to get to a destination on time if we have add which i believe to be a meta spiritual phenomena um, um that individuals are afflicted with pertaining to psychology and, and and a spiritual one pertaining to spirits um i uh I think one. I think one who has ADD would be would do well to um, focus on utilizing uh, uh, meditative meditative uh, uh, functions. You know, breathing from your center, uh, focusing and being centered and being grounded uh, within the course and duration of your day. In fact, I would say it so much that pertaining to that, most people uh, run in an autonomous. Uh, fashion anyways uh it would be better if <laughs> if you run 
you know what I'm saying, in a centeredness and uh, in, in, in a meditative spirit because how many conversations do you engage in uh, during the course of a day anyway? So your, your breathing and everything, and which is the best thing, what they say with meditation, meditation is focus on your breathing. Make sure that you're, you're breathing in the right direction and just focus on your breaths and, and be reflective of each moment. And try to remember all five of your senses and experiences of those things at certain um, active parts throughout your day. Take for instance, crossing a busy street with uh, several cars uh, during rush hour and, and all sorts of uh, traffic and sounds and things of this nature. And try to remember the sound and the smell, um, um, the breeze, what, the way the air feels, the temperature, um, the, the, the subtleties and sounds you hear, uh, the, 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 the little skeech of a tire when, when a car stops down the street, okay? And clear your mind, and and, 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 and and when I say clear your mind, I'm not telling you to go into a trance. When I'm saying, I'm saying, rather than clear your mind, I'm asking you to actively focus from a meditative place, from your core, by focus, with, with focusing on your breathing, and, 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 and utilize that in a moment to moment basis. Okay, and this is your center, and this center is your 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 inner peace in which you should not move uh, from there, and should operate from this center. Okay, for me, having a conversation anymore isn't the same as just having a conversation. But these things, you know, where individuals would look at terms of uh, uh, back in the day in high school fornication to be as intimate, I don't find it to be as intimate as sharing my words with somebody. You see what I'm saying? I, I can't be any more naked than sharing my thoughts with somebody. Too many keys in there, okay? So the, so the fact of the matter is this. Uh, <laughs> you know, now I, 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 I look at, at, at the conversation a certain type of way. You see what I'm saying? And um, in meditating and, and, and walking through life in this way, it's not often now that I really seek to find too much with common strangers and individuals I pass to breaking my meditation. And I really don't like it. Although I know that uh, a story was told to me by Cameron Hill about a monk that was constantly distracted his master would constantly distract him because if he didn't do that, then he would stay in a meditative state. And I kind of think I would be like that. I would, I would, I would be very happy in some type of fucking, uh, oddly, in some type of stasis of inner peace. I don't think I would have any type of problem with that. I really don't. Um, when I'm walking, I find that individuals, 99.9% .9 of the time that, that, that I come across or whatever, it's, it's, it's nothing personal or anything like that, but I'm in a state of, of, of centeredness and reflection because I hate walking. I, I, I literally will sleepwalk when I'm walking. Like I'll have my sunglasses on and you know how it is when you just kind of like, your breathing like changes to like that, like, okay, I'm sleeping. Like your, your brain doesn't have enough uh, stimuli, okay? And it's like a, 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 a waking, uh, narcolepsy so to speak although I don't have narcolepsy but like I'll kind of I'll kind of sleepwalk or whatever you know what I'm saying and my legs you've been walking for so long your legs will just do whatever it's going to do right and this would sound such as uh, MK Ultra or so on and so forth but you see these things correlate with attention hyperactive uh, 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 disorder you know I'm an individual that needs like I, I kind of fucking I gotta ex, I gotta ex, I gotta I gotta expel a lot of energy before I generally do something where where I'm more uh, static. You know what I'm saying? Not 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 moving around so much, not being active, or, or or not really engaging my mind in some type of way. And walking is one of those activities where I find it to be so boring. Okay, I really do. Um, because I, while I am doing something physical, it's not vigorous enough and my brain 
doesn't feel uh, to be um, stimulated enough. So I often, what it does is it forces me to get into a meditative state, okay? That's what it forces me to do when I go on to a walk because I, I, I hate going on walks. I go into a meditative state and from that center, I, I'm conscious and aware of my surroundings, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, I try to practice uh, along with focus. Uh, for Mushashi, there's, there's a samurai named Musashi, and he has a book called The Book of Five Rings. And uh, he talks about using uh, 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 a wide view uh, pertaining to uh, how you relax the eyes and you try to panoramic uh, from a relaxed state of, 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 of looking, um, looking out in front of you, okay? Uh, uh, how to get, get the, 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 the most uh, uh, um, um, peripheral, I guess you could say. I don't know if that's the right word. View, you can, uh, uh, so to speak. Uh, while using your eyes, while using your eyes and, and, and just and just and just walking through, I guess you you know what I'm saying, life or society or some shit, you know what I'm saying. But it's in the bush, it's in that book, and I utilize that and I stay in my center. And so once I'm in that meditative state, I start reflecting on things and I'm focused on things and I'm deep in concentration. So when I see other walkers, so on and so forth, I know I sound like an asshole, but I'm in this meditative state to where like. I really hate having to pop out of that state and say hello or whatever because I, I'm just kind of like on, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just like in an inner peace, peaceful state, you know, and each time I have to be brought out of that is being brought out into um, this very loud uh, atmosphere from a completely peaceful one, if, if that makes any sense. Okay, um, so I, I, I'm reluctant or I'm more um, evasive and, and choose that when I do certain activities to, uh, like walk uh, uh, to generally be by myself. Okay, and uh, so <clears throat> staying in the center and Focusing on your breathing and being in a meditative state, but being conscious and aware of your surroundings and, fo and focusing on those things is is, 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 is is very much iron sharpens iron pertaining to an a, a individual being, an individual being's uh, scope of awareness and amount of personal self-control that, that, that an individual has and how an individual uh, carries themselves. And it exercises the individual's uh, uh, memory as well. Okay. This also trains your body in terms of the autonomous functions, because the fact of the matter is, is um, um, you know, if you're able to relax and, and and by focus on your breathing, when you sleep, you breathe a certain type of way, and when you're awake, you breathe a certain type of way, and you know what I'm saying? If you're able to walk and relax to the point where you your safety is not in jeopardy because you, you, you you're very alert and very with it, but you're 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 at your center, okay? You 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 make yourself more durable and you have more endurance as well. You see what I'm saying? So this changes the nature, okay? of walking and this more so combines, I so I guess you could say uh, in terms of that, if you don't have access to a gym, uh, uh, some type of exercising, but working out for me was always more mental anyways. So, and, and, and not being able to access a gym, um, this has um, um, caused the promotion um, to strengthen my mind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so this is, this is, uh, more so what I'm looking to do. Um, in this world, okay, let me see how long I've been talking to you guys because I talked about a few things. 23 minutes, okay. In, the, in this world, okay, um, 
it, 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 this world is kind of um, this world is kind of like Midgard, okay? Um, and Midgard or, or, or Earth, it would seem to be a melting pot of many different spirits. Um, and there could be a different spirit that dons the human image, okay? Than a human being. You know, it might not be a human being um, that has the image of a human. You see what I'm saying? So the only thing it, it pertains to God being unbiased this would not matter except for the fact that your morals, your ethics, your beliefs, so on and so forth, this, all of these things, okay, will correlate with your intentions. So the fact of the matter is when I deal with an individual, it would be very important for me to know, it's very quick, you know, if I can understand like, oh, okay, if they deal with the most high that, you know, there, there are certain things that they don't align with, like stealing or killing, so to speak, there is a certain common ground. And of course, they can be dishonest and, and individuals do that as well. But um, generally, um, it resolves a lot of things knowing if somebody knows uh, knows God. It tells you a lot, okay? Uh, and nowadays, this would be something that would be very important and understanding how an individual knows God would be important as well. Okay, this is already um, conversations that would be had pertaining to any sort of interest in this type of world, which would be predominantly non-existent anymore. Okay, and they call in this world, as in the Bible speaks of locusts, and the Bible speaks of uh, 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 serpents, and these serpents, okay, they have, it appears upon their head to be like crowns, you know what I'm saying, uh, of tin. What it's saying, the crowns of tin is correlating to the fact of um, that dragons have scales and scales uh, are, are, are the king of Tyree dynamic, decked with every precious stone. Um, the scales of a serpent uh, under the sunlight will cause them to shine, right? And the sun would reflect off of their scales. So it would appear as if they were wearing a crown. If you've seen the Geico uh, gecko uh, and, the, and he was standing up outside on a sunny day, it would seem as he had like a yellow spot on the top of his head because the sun shining down uh, upon the gecko uh, would appear as a uh, golden crown. And this is where I, I, I believe potentially individuals are, are into like the Egyptian, uh, the Egypt thing. And, I, I, and you have to forgive me because I don't under, it's not like I'm versed in Egypt uh, uh, type of things. But, you know, him having a, 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 uh, a crown like that, that's dope. That's like a, that yellow, that, that orange dot will, will, will correlate with the, it seems a, a, a first eye would seem to be the hint of this situation. Okay. Um, so. Um, these this correlating with Christ saying now man has became as one of us uh, would seem to put Christ in the dynamic of uh, as, the, as the man of sin okay as the man of sin remember the, the meiosis as well okay that this would correlate with the man of sin the portion that, that has the flesh and this man who has flesh would have the, would have more than likely, um, let me think. This man who has flesh would have the number of the beast. Okay, that means he has the image of godliness, meaning he looks like a man. Okay, um, and, and therefore he would have the number of a man. So that would correlate with, uh, I guess. I guess that, that that would correlate with the 666 situation. So I guess when human beings have the spirit of a dragon, um, that these human beings are in um, an antichrist dynamic unless they believe in the most high God, okay? And that would pertain to their core ethics, uh, uh, their, their core ethics, so on and so forth, okay? So, um, 
the chick teeth like knives and uh, built for war or, or having a build as in and for war able to scale buildings so on and so forth these these are dragons and Dan is from the north okay the Danite is from the north it's talking about and when the scripture says north it's talk it's just it's basically talking about outer space okay they're they're in the fourth dimension okay that's what it's talking about um and, and the south would, 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 would correlate with earth that's what i truly believe it, do, it doesn't correlate the same way we would see it in the three-dimensional realm okay and this is the difference between individuals who uh go along with the connotation that the earth is flat that you're not incorrect for the fact that the earth is on a plane and was laid and was put upon a foundation okay uh but it pertains to which which dimension you're in because if you're in this dimension uh um the earth will also uh, I, I would assume appear to be round okay or spherical okay um so um the thing is is when you're dealing with the man of sin the man of sin is familiar with every matter of man um pertaining to uh uh uh, uh what type of knowledge okay that individual has on that so that automatically makes this individual as an archer or something as in spycraft, okay? And I just wanna put this disclaimer up right now that my last video that has the background of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, um, you know, the one of the uh, intermission songs was from uh, 28 Days Later and the image, um, um, it, that, that, that song, the 28 Days Later theme, okay, was used in, in, in the recent the Batman film, okay, where a Ferris wheel is 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 being shown on fire, and it appears as a uh, an, an arrow that is that's pointing to the upper left. Okay, you guys, I'm not an archer. Okay, uh, I, I'm not hunting for anyone. All right, I just want to put this disclaimer out right now so that people don't get it twisted. But Dan would be Dan would be the meiosis because there's two riders on the white horse, okay? So that would be the meiosis or the split between Christ and the mighty archer, okay? And the mighty archer would be the adversary to Christ. So that would be his um, arch nemesis, okay? And, and this is the man of sin or the spirit, because the antichrist is a spirit that it, it comes upon the earth to um, test men. Okay, this same spirit would spirit would be uh, as a Danite or for the uh, or, or uh, from the North Kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and he would be known as the as the uh, mighty archer, and Christ would be known as righteous and true. So when it comes to judgment, and Christ asks, "How do you know me?" A lot of individuals may indicate indicate that they believe to know the image of Christ but this image of Christ would be a false representation of what Christ came and did in the New Testament and this is the portion where when I get confuzzled okay which the last drop I had gotten a little bit confuzzled with Christ in, in the situation with um, um, meiosis or whatever uh, because there would have to be a separation or a splitting from one individual. So in other words, the situation that happened with the serpent, uh, Moses' uh, Moses's staff, when he went to Egypt and it devoured the other two serpents, would be in reverse correlating uh, with Christ and, 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 and pertain to us. Uh, um, be it that um, it would seem that uh, out of one, out of one individual uh, that comes into this world, um, you are, you go through a, 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 my, a meiosis of character or a transformation of, of character. I, I don't know how to explain this to you. Uh, out of one comes two, so to speak. So the, the division of me would be um, the portion of me that, that in terms of in a gradient scale or a three dimensional world of this projection or perception that we exist within, there would be the ego persona of me in which um, 
is is completely different than um, the individual that I'm sanctified into. So in such a manner, you know, when Christ asks, how do you know me? He's asking you, do you, do you know me as an image? Do you know me as um, the fruit that look good to eat in the Garden of Eden? Okay, meaning if individuals are deceived into believing that the mighty archer is Jesus Christ, these would be the same individuals that haven't grown since the Garden of Eden. Okay, going off of things based upon knowledge and, and, and that would pertain to perception and criteria. Okay, for individuals that believe the word of God, um, that believe the word of God, those individuals would be following Christ. So, the reason why I grapple with this thing is, is, is this, man. The situation, all right, pertaining to Ray or Christ coming in the flesh is the mixture between flesh and spirit. Therefore, um, the decision of one, all right, to be turning turn to God would be the sanctification of that individual on the basis of uh, something that God does, not what that individual does. All right. And it would be coming from a centeredness or a place of unconditional love. All right. Uh, any other individual uh, in life, uh, me included, you know what I'm saying? I try I really, I really try to uh, hold it down for people and things of this nature. But the fact of the matter and the truth of scripture is this. Uh, flesh will fail you okay and, and, and that's not to say that flesh will ultimately well hold on that's very precise let me try to change this a little bit more um when you depend on other human beings okay you 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 are dealing with the probability of being let down all right because we're only human right at the end of the day and the fact of the matter is is uh um yeah you just you got to give all the glory to god and you gotta and you gotta just it's a leap of faith it's a it really is a leap of faith because the scripture <laughs> the scripture is easy to understand and simple if if you have the type of mind to where you, you could just uh read it and, and say okay that's it you could totally do that you could totally do that but as I grow older, I just become more analytical and try to figure out, <laughs> I mean, it's, not, it's really not my fault. I don't know why this happens, but uh, you know, I, I really try to figure out exactly what the scripture is saying. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, it's, and there's a lot of perplexing things in there as far as like, now man has become as one of, uh, as one of us. When I, re when I was meditating on that, um, earlier this morning i was not i was not feeling that and i'm I'm, st I'm still shaky on it except for the fact that uh, a meiosis would have had to uh uh have occurred between uh christ's nature which which means um that meiosis was when he when he breathed out his spirit okay when he breathed out the spirit of god that that would be the that would be the separation okay between um christ who would be at this point it, it, the man of sin he would be like the king of beasts okay and that would also be correlated with with, with uh the with uh the first adam you see what i'm saying so that would create the bridge for individuals in, in, in society that go according to faith because there's only two things that can please God, which is faith, and it says faith and grace, but we can't give God grace. So faith is the only thing that, 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 that pleases God, which means there are no guarantees. There are, there are no answers. You gotta take a leap of faith, all right? And seeing what, seeing how much guarantees cost pertaining to what's happening in the world right now, what individuals have to do in order to get an opportunity, you have to ask yourself with the, uh, uh, with, 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 with the perpetu, uh, perpetu, uh, I can't even say it, uh, 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 perpetu, I, 
All right, man, listen, I can't say it. Perpetual uh, things you have to do in order to come on to those opportunities and things like that. Eventually, you're going to hit a point within your, your spirit, which is going to be getting devoured down, where you're going to have to ask yourself, like, fuck, man, is it really fucking worth it? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're talented at what you do, I don't know why the fuck you got to work to get the fucking opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, there's a position that's open, right? So it's like, if you're good at what you do, right? And these individuals do be good at what they do, but then they still have to do that other damn thing. So it's like, you know, either way that individual is owned. That individual is a commodity. That individual, it, it, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. How, how, how I fucking grapple with these fucking words at night. <laughs> that individual is a motherfucking commodity of society. <laughs> I mean, if you do, and if I, <laughs> and, hey man, listen. <laughs> and, and if an individual is a motherfucker, a uh, 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 commodity in society, I don't understand why the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. <laughs> understand that why I gotta give up half of my shit. If anytime we get into a fucking disagreement, Angela. Shut the goddamn screen door. <laughs> ah, spirit baby. <laughs> All right, man, listen. I'm sorry, man. I have some fun sometimes. But listen. But listen, man. <laughs> well, motherfuckers are a commodity in society. And you. <laughs> and it's all about opportunities for other niggas. They, and you and you one of them niggas that. You, 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 they got the show my mom watches. I never see a single episode. She would watch that. I can't fuck with Tyler Perry shit because the shit's so heavy metal, nigga. I, I'll be fucking depressed as fuck. But I tell her, I, I fuck with uh, Tyler Perry or Oprah, Oprah films. It's like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just figured my butthole. Hey, <laughs> 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 man, listen. This shit's so serious. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> listen. <laughs> I don't want to know if shit's based on a true story or not. <laughs> I might not be able to take your kid to Disney World, but I can't take him to a Tyler Perry or Oprah, or Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> I can show you the world. <laughs> like I said, they got they be calling these females out here, nigga, Disney princesses. Now, in Hyperia, I wanted a band with Echo, and, and I was like, okay, I wanted to call it Dead Princesses. Now, I know this shit sound fucked up, but I wanted, like, it was, trust me, it just worked. It was gonna be like a metal thing. Anyways, uh, and it was gonna be P-R-I-N-E-S-X. Dead Princesses, one S and X, okay? Cause it correlates with this, this Boulevard of Broken Dreams out here that Green Day was talking about. I'm like, gosh damn, nigga. <laughs> you, you look like the, the Green Day, the Green Day brother remind me of the nigga from uh, uh, Breaking Bad, dog. I, they gotta be, they, they gotta damn near be related. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got, I got fucking, you know what I'm saying? I was just checking out the skull, pertaining to like dragon archetypes and shit. You know, they got similar skull. He's got a good skull. He's got a good skull on there. You know what I'm saying? Sturdy. You know what I'm saying? Some individuals' skulls and shit is just built different. But let me not get on this fucking tangent. I was gonna call this fucking thing called Dead Princesses, right? Of oh, this band, okay? Uh anyhow, this is why, man. This shit is so fucking sadistic. So, nigga. So basically, what they do is, I guess. In society, 
there, there don't be any fucking jobs or anything like that. So like the chick, she gets out of high school and shit, right? And <clears throat> and <laughs> the chick gets out of high school and, and she just fucking realizes, you know what I'm saying? Like, what am I gonna do with my life? You know what I'm saying? Maybe she's dating a guy or whatever. You think that relationship stays together? Like, the odd individuals are individuals that are couples that stay together ever since high school. More than likely, them individ individuals are, are, are fucking affiliated into some shit. You know what I'm saying? But otherwise, individuals get ripped apart because <laughs> these little kids, these little boys and girls with these lunch bills, they ain't nothing but commodities in society. <laughs> It's like, you're going to be destroyed by doing the wrong thing outside of high school at 16 years old. Trust me. Because these niggas, these niggas, uh, th this shit up here, this hell that I exist within in society, these niggas be dropping down, fucking going to fucking uh, <clears throat> high schools and shit. Fucking picking up french fries and shit. I got to tell you, man. <laughs> I was at this place, I was eating some food and shit. My sister was like, <laughs> my sister was telling me about like high school sports. My nephew, he's a badass football player and shit. She's like, you come on this game. I'm thinking in my head, you know, good well, I can't go to no damn football game. <laughs> Amongst all their fucking commodities and societies. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen. I gotta stay at home, bruh. I don't know why, coach. I gotta, I gotta sit this one out. <laughs> but, anyways, they call dead princesses, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, or they don't call them dead princesses. Forgive me. They gonna get pissed off about this shit. That was the name of the band. They call them princesses. And the reason why I say this is this, man. You're dealing with the image of an individual and anybody has a different spirit other than the spirit in which they look would be under the archetype of 666 unless they believe in God. If they believe in God, they believe in Christ, dude, it's a fucking go. Especially, but they gotta be sincere. They gotta have like fucking good attention and shit. It's, it's a go. But if they don't, man, they're telling you, they're giving you all the information you need considering love, the principle of truth, uh, life, and the way. They saying they don't fuck with any of them things automatically. That's it's as easy as that. It's as easy as one, two, three. Okay, that means something. Something is generally going to be off. Okay. Now these Disney princesses, what happens with them? Okay, is they become under my control, <clears throat> and you know they have a lot of slips. You know, pertaining to their brain, they have a lot of slips in between there. So a lot of times uh, with these individuals, you you know, you got to talk to them. You really got to get to know people, man. You know, you really got to get to know people. You got really got to get to know that individual. You know what I mean? Uh, that you have a real relationship. That's all it is, man. It ain't nothing magical to it. I wouldn't be too preoccupied with wanting to be called a princess because when, when I was told about that shit, <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> Fuck it, man. I'm done. I, I, I would just divert that whole situation while I was thinking. But here's the thing, man. This is what I was thinking about. <laughs> nah, I, I, I ain't gonna talk about what I what I was gonna talk about. I, I, I'm thinking about something different now. All right, I dropped that shit all together. I'm gonna just leave it alone because too that, that shit is too risky. Because otherwise, the, the fucking wildlings they catch a word or two in there. And they said they get so fucking they get so fucking crazy sometimes. <laughs> they get so fucking crazy. So I gotta fucking you yeah, hey man listen. <laughs> Hands in the air like you just don't care. There's a party over here. <laughs> T two thousand. Keep bouncing. T minus. Thirty seconds. Count. <laughs> Shark week. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so listen, um, 
Disney princesses, they they sing they sing songs and shit. I don't know why. It's just one of the things they do. And believe it or not, they can sing. <laughs> believe, believe it or not, they can actually sing. The shit is crazy. <laughs> All right. The shit is the, the shit is fucking crazy, right? Uh. I seen this chick in Walmart, man, and she was definitely under MK Ultra. Dude, she could fucking sing those songs, dude. And when they start singing, you start thinking like, damn, you can fucking, you know what I'm saying? You, you sound, you, you know, you sound pretty damn good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, <laughs> but I, I knew it was some type of fucking mind shit going on, man. I knew it. I knew the shit was happening. That's that same fucking get out scenario man the, the the disney princesses they're zoned out the daughter and get out she's a disney princess okay she 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 you know what i'm saying she on the other side of psychological game you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know you got the one side where everybody's at at the party and then you know what i'm saying you got the other side where nobody's at just you know Like the lonely cup in the neighbor's yard the, the, the day after the party. That's so they on that side of the game. <laughs> Something happened, you know what I'm saying? With a lot of individuals. Hey man, heal your heal your dove, man. Heal your dove, man. You know what I'm saying? Have some conversations. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, <clears throat> and be blessed, man. You know, uh, <clears throat> I, I I gotta say that. I gotta say that the Disney princess ones are, are fucking, they're under MK Ultra and shit. They're being controlled by spirits. And if they're being controlled by spirit, remember what I said it could be like, you could be dealing with this lady and it could be like eight, nine niggas got the key to a heart and shit. You know, they got a secret passcode or they, they know some type of uh, spiritual Masonic hand sign shit that puts her in a certain type of mood, right? So you're talking about like a jukebox, like, if you ever went to like one of those old diners and they had a jukebox in there and you could change the selection of the song, that's kind of like how they do it with spirits. And, and, and these individuals, I suppose, um, I guess that's how they do, man. It's fucked up. It really is, man. I, 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 I guess I, have a, I, I do. I am in the mind to, I'm trying to help with this shit that I, that I put out here. And I know it's not shit that people look for, but it's just an exercise in the mind that causes, you know, awareness. Different things to be aware of. And if you disagree with me, hey man, listen, it doesn't matter. So what? That's that's totally fine. What's important is that you're reflecting and, 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 and concentrating and thinking about how you feel about something, how you see something, and, and, and being honest with yourself, man. You know. This is the, like just like a microcosm, something that may, you know, wake or spark society or wake us up, uh, stimulate it just, uh, uh, just enough so that people could come out of their sleep. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I sound like I'm being an asshole, but dude, I can't explain this paranormal phenomenon to you. Like, if it's something you can't see, you'll never see it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't see what I'm talking about by now with society, you'll never see it. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to recognize, be able to recognize patterns. I won't say you never see it. It, it, it you, you may come into, but you might be going at a different rate and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. Stick with it. Um, I'm assuming that with Christ, a, a, a meiosis occurred, but um, there is an account still, okay? To, to some degree, um, a, myos a meiosis occurred. A meiosis occurred, you guys. I, I even text, I, the minute I was thinking about this yesterday, because I was really thinking about it, I tripped out and I texted my mom and my sister. I told them to get out. I said, it's too, it's too crazy, because I, I don't feel like I should be still wrestling with the fucking Bible in, in certain areas. Like certain areas it comes to the connect and then there's certain other parts where it's just like, what the fuck is going on here? Okay? And, and the thing is, it's like, 
if it if it is a scripture that in which I find is too mixed, I will have to throw it all out because whatever occurs between me and reading that Bible, I'm gonna have to say it's not my fault, which will correlate with why somebody went up on a cross because it's so it's so like it's I'm trying my best. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm trying my best. So the Bible, I'm gonna tell you my opinion. The Bible is not simple. Okay. Pertaining to subtlety in a, in, a, in a text matter that um, that you would have that, that an individual has to learn first and then reflect and meditate upon, which individuals just think that you study the Bible. Okay, which you can study it, but you you kind of have to meditating on the word is a very important step. You know, I I I looked at the book Bible, and I don't mean reading, but you could like study it. And still, it's not the same as if you meditate, okay? Um, the Bible is always good because it stimulates my mind to think, okay? And, 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 I, and I've become more strong, mentally strong in the Bible, um, uh, pertaining to using the Bible. But, and it fortifies your mind, okay, against bullshit. And eventually I'm hoping that it'll fortify my mind to the degree that bullshit won't come around me. Okay, or be introduced into into, into my reality, uh, into my scope whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, 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 I will go great distances for an individual that's uh, sincere, but in order to not be corrupt, you, you have to keep an open heart. To keep an open heart in this world, you're, you're dealing with individuals that feel automatically just out of confusion or lack of understanding that they have nothing to lose, and they see you as a resource at a meta spiritual level, level that they don't even understand, which causes you to be targeted. Hang on a sec. All right, I'm back. So um, here's the thing, man. Uh, to ascend in this world, in this world being upside down, knowing that the uh, disciples of, of, of Christ were hung upside down while he, he was hung right side up, would seem to pertain more to secret knowledge or coming into a realization that the teachings that Christ brought because um, uh, the teachings that Christ brought was correct, okay? But him being a man of the flesh, all right, causes some type of uh, confusion or, 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 or contradiction. Um, now, some things that are strange to me is the fact that when Moses died, uh, Michael had to come and, and take the body of Moses because um, the devil, the, the the others wanted it the devil wanted it. What, what what they knew what these individuals knew is that they could utilize moses's body okay because it, he was a, a a a figure in which can be uh individuals listened to all right so they were going to utilize moses i think for controlling people as a point of power which means they do have the ability to reanimate uh the body or the flesh of an individual okay since biblical time okay so when it comes to resurrection and, and it comes to uh science and knowledge uh and all that other shit hey man listen uh egypt knows some shit don't get it twisted uh the witchcraft and all that other shit hey man listen i just i my primitive ass don't fuck with it all right i don't fuck with it but you know hey man listen Egypt got some shit for your ass. Don't get it twisted. I I, I ain't fucking willy nilly out here. I just wish my kid. I just fucking miss my kids. I don't. I don't really fucking. I don't give a shit what happens. Honestly, <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. If I if I fucking if I can see my my little sister, bro. I'm sorry. I wouldn't think about a single one of you. <laughs> I'd be out of here. We'd all be gone. We'd all be gone. I uh, I want to go home, man. You know, uh, I I want to fucking go home. But I, I, I'm getting on a tangent. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, this this uh, situation here uh, in Scripture pertaining to uh, Jesus transfigured on the mountain, his body being missing from inside of the cave. Um, there's texts that show that Thomas stuck his fingers in, in in Christ's hand, so on and so forth. But you know, 
I, I would have to assume that maybe Michael picked up Jesus' body back. I assume that would be a prominent point in the Bible. I mean, he would he would be more of a figurehead than Moses, of course, right? So Christ Christ's body was missing, and, and we are to uh, suspect or assume um, the validity or the account that um, individuals was placed outside of this. Uh, place and they stood guard and they did not leave guard um, from that place where Christ's body was. I mean, it it, all, <clears throat> it, it sounds suspicious. Okay. And, 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 and the only thing that validates this is that Christ said that in three days uh, he will rebuild the temple. Right? But it seems like when they came back and they discovered that Christ's body was missing, uh, it couldn't have been the two soldiers that removed it that removed that boulder not by themselves and if that's the case where did the soldiers go in, or in order for that boulder to be moved and by whom okay so in the next situation they say they see christ you know what i'm saying transfiguring on the mount um and you know he's with a couple of people okay and i would have to say that that was Christ, maybe if we want to call it his light body or so-called electric body, his spirit body, um, which was separate than his flesh. And I assume that was the transfiguration that occurred there. But I mean, pertaining to scripture, you know, in the, in the way I think, you know, um, I just, I just would want more details pertaining to uh, Christ's body being removed. You don't understand. Um, from that point in scripture, I would like to have uh, more information, but that more information does not necessarily uh, garner faith that would please God or the ultimate, uh, the ultimate altruistic good, which pertains to um, being selfless and, 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 and following nonetheless as one would follow a shepherd. This somewhat contradicts the wave that I was on in my last fucking podcast, you know, because <laughs> there's just shit here in, in scripture where it is risky and it requires a lot of faith. And him which who stands in my way of getting to Hyperia every time is from the north, is a Danite and has the split the, the components, the very same components, okay, it would seem as Christ. But why would Christ be smart enough to ask in scripture in the end, how do you know me? Meaning, you're either going to know me in one way or you're going to know me in the, in, in the other way. Definitely, I would not say to the man who was crucified that I knew him as I know this spirit that I'm having to deal with right here. So, give it that this spirit is draconian, but pertains to mimic um other individuals in certain types of ways i would have to say that uh the spirit of the antichrist is upon the earth and this spirit is uh the the uh man of sin this is why i, I haven't been able to uh possibly uh get any further than this uh uh, uh with this spirit okay um but Earth would seem to be a, a war, wars, war, uh, war of worlds, okay, with many so-called princes. X, no space. Princes, princes, P R I N C E S X, princesses that are utilized as commodities to to hook in men. Uh, uh, this is the same thing. Satan's been doing the same thing since Solomon's time. And Samson's time pertaining to uh, uh, um, the children of God, okay, by sending in delights of, uh, of things of which they like, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> this is the whole um, situation with, 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 you know, when this world starts getting on semen retention, so on and so forth, okay. It, it, it's out of the situation that the spirit that individuals fall into right now when we talk about falling in love it means you, 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 you you're falling in love with this spirit which is 
an adulterous spirit and not the spirit of not the spirit of God. Okay? And he prays on you all the time. Like just this spirit is 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 uh, a nuisance. This spirit um, silences the lambs by turning the sheep into goats. And these goats become princesses, right? When individuals are disillusioned, it look like they tranced out, they went to fucking Disney World or some shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. The shit ain't funny, man. It really ain't funny. It's some sad shit. It, is, it really is. Because these females come up not knowing that the Adjustment Bureau is real. You know what I'm saying? And thinking that they don't have some type of uh, Disney World uh, 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 love situation where the world is completely different than that. Like, females don't even deal with dudes the whole nine. So they, uh, these females get totally groomed towards a dream. In particular, and on purpose, just to rip them apart, which makes the good girl gone bad because it is utilizing hope break. Okay? So the little girl comes up to find out well, damn, I can't get a boyfriend. Seems like I gotta suck a dick to get this job. And I gotta suck your fuck on my way to the tip of that job. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, this 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 spirit is a is a thorn of of uh, that I believe that was that was that was put into me in correlation with Paul being called up to the to the the uh, the third heaven. He said that a, a messenger of Satan came to buffet him in the flesh. I, I think this that's what this uh, this is. This 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 spirit definitely that's in the earth definitely correlates with the entity that was in the, at, 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 at the tree of knowledge. Uh, the tree of good and evil. This individual is the cul culprit, this spirit that's operating the earth. So this same spirit or individual that individuals uh, fall in love with, right? Just know that this spirit has a certain type of pride. And, that pr and the pride of that spirit is to ultimately set you in a different way if it cannot attain you than your original constructs of how, of, of, of how you were created and meant to be. Okay, which for the most part seems to be successful, but in Christ, you're okay. You're, I mean, you're saved, you're okay. None of those things matter. You don't have to worry about any of that thing. That should destroy at least a movement, right? But it's not because somebody has to be unhappy, right? All right, because we're not at the Hunger Games yet, okay? But, but we're getting there, all right? So the, the fact of the matter is these young girls come up with this adjustment, bro, believing thing. And, and the thing is, like, once they break and they start going down that road and that road is all fucked up, you know, they're, <laughs> I mean, amongst females, Jesus Christ, man, we got to start working out some of this uh, trauma and, and shit that they didn't been through, because if we don't do that, this is going to create an everlasting change, so on and so forth. And these females, they, they will talk to one another, okay? But they don't, um, I don't know, man. They will talk to one another, but, it, 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 and they have an alliance that they, when they, when they came together, they didn't come together like the men that has different chapters. Like, it didn't matter what chapter these females are from. They all came together, black, white, uh, even the LGBT and the, and the trans and everything like that. Like, it's gung-ho towards this, like, hunger going, hunger games thing. Right? Um, and <laughs> listen, the options that you were left with and, and, and the amount of preparation for the number of growing problems that we have is like, you know what I'm saying? You can't put all that weight on one, one person or even I would say almost even one administration. All right? Because the, it's, just, it's just too many things that have to get resolved. So what does that let you know? We, we want things broken in a particular way, right? This is why I don't get involved too much with helping, helping individuals, okay? And the psychologies of this young girl that grows up to find out that shit isn't real and has to deal with a bunch of individuals that they don't want to deal with in order to have opportunities just so that they can fucking eat. Uh, the spirit of the female has got to be um, quite resentful, it would appear, okay? And having to to deal with these certain things and this resentment and its justification, okay, give it time, air, and space 
it will start to become un unreasonable. Okay? If individuals don't, if this situation does not change. And when that situation becomes unreasonable and this individual, these individuals right, are raised up in the spirit of pride uh, based upon that, even it being justified, but, but, but going over and beyond the top, all right? These dudes, hey man, listen, you're gonna get ran over, okay? I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't fuck with what's out there because the spirit that's in these females Due to back at Adam's day, because Adam wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He, he wasn't watching Eve or whatever. And the connotation is, is that individuals that have more of this feminine principle spirit is more susceptible to spirits. Okay? And the fact of the matter is, that consciousness, um, you know what I'm saying? By taking other fruit, um, is... <laughs> Is, is still being echoed today that these unattended children and uh, things of this nature uh, are, are ending up in situations and we would want to look at uh, we would want to look at R. Kelly but not the parents for neglect okay we don't want to understand what type of fucked up shit happened to R. Kelly where he, he, he this predicament would even occur now <laughs> Epstein I could see that happening because he had an island but R. Kelly, that's fucking crazy, dog. Okay? Something was happening with them. And, 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 and I believe a lot of these artists are keeping their fucking mouth shut. Because it really is a lot more than what you see uh, getting revealed to you on these little fucking pop pieces that they put on fucking Entertainment Tonight. Nigga. And TMZ. You, ain't getting, you hardly ain't getting shit. You getting crap. That's what you getting. You know what I'm saying? And, you know... You don't really care about the real individual or the real situation, but also these individuals are staged. So an individual will take the fall for some shit while they're really just a fall guy being a front for some type of fucking uh, skin traffic that wasn't even theirs or that they weren't even associated with. Of course, all of these motherfuckers in the music videos, business and shit like that have fucking vis uh, uh, videos with fucking Disney princesses that you may be wanting to date. And they have wives of every wish that they chose. And sure, they would appear as sons of God. You get what I'm saying? So the situation when it comes to that Bible is very difficult because you really have to rightly divide that joint. You see what I'm saying? And if you don't, you can fuck your whole psychology up. And pertaining to if you just grow in this world and you don't deal with it, your psychology is not going to have a more difficult time. Of, of, of having a defense or being resilient because witchcraft is not going to do it as far as I know I mean it might do some things but generally you would need to invoke a spirit at that point okay so <laughs> if you got to build yours from scratch according to the Holy Spirit you're going to get you, you, you're going to get fucked up a lot okay before that shit starts like, before you start becoming immune, uh, uh, immunized against a lot of these spiritual attacks Okay, and a lot of these spirits, that's just something that's got to happen. It's not something that happened in a day. You got to grow in the spirit and you know how it is to grow a plant. Plants grow fast, but they grow slow. Considering if you're in the heat of the moment and then you just start praying to God all of a sudden, oh God. That means you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be long suffering. You're going to need the Holy Spirit to be able to endure uh, such, a, such an onslaught of fucking bullshit. Okay, but... <laughs> You know, this is what happens. These chicks get caught out here. They realize that, okay, I graduated. What I'm going to do? And then all of these fucking senior citizens with retirement fund for that for that young cherry to come around. Half of the wildlings are just excited that it's not their fucking uncle. For fuck's sake. You know? But what do you expect from <laughs> fucking steak gate? You know what I'm saying? You know what steak gate is, nigga. Y'all call, oh, I call that shit deep steak. <laughs> These niggas up in deep steak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, these niggas up in deep steak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold it down, hogging all the damn females. This shit is fucking crazy. Out here. <laughs> Out here in deep steak society. 
<laughs> so listen, man. Was R. Kelly a fall guy? We know Epstein was. He, he actually seemed to have some actual things going on, but it seems like uh, Homeboy was a fall guy. Okay? Uh, I gotta be honest with you. There's been speculations over Drake being a, pedof uh, a, a pedophile. I, I just don't see it. I don't know why. I really don't. I really don't. In fact, I met Drake before. You know what I'm saying? In a former lifetime. You know what I'm saying? He's a cool dude. I met him, I met him before, man. He's all right, dude. Uh, uh, yeah. 1,000%. Um, anyways, man, hang on. Let me get through this shit. The, so the adjustment bureau. These chicks, if you come out of high school, you got a boyfriend, usually you get broken up. Or you both stay together, you both get turned out, used, or whatever. And this adjustment bureau, if you've seen the movement, probably movie probably correlates with the census. Okay? And the census correlates with how many niggas do we have on a motherfucking planet? And how many of these motherfuckers is straight? Because you know we gotta control the population. You know, the Georgia Godstones and all that other shit. So you gotta have eugenics, you gotta have some niggas turn gay. You know what I'm saying? It can't be a, 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 a nationally uh, populating thing. So you're at war with society. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just to soil your oats. So then you got financial, uh, you got caste systems and financial caste systems, uh, favoritism and nepotism. And that's why individuals got to do such crazy shit. Uh, because individuals can't, um, don't have inner peace, man. These girls end up commodities and, 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 and broke it down and, and hating on the wrong dude. Because that's the only individual they actually trust, so they get mad with that guy and not with other ones. All right? They go into their programming with other ones, uh, not noticing that they're under MK Ultra. That's why, well, the reason why you get into that, I'm sure there's a lot of, of great looking people and things of this nature, but the reason why you get into that state isn't necessarily because you're just that head over heels. You know what I'm saying? It's not because of that, it's because you got a spirit on you. Okay, that's usually how that should be happening, right? Not always, but usually. Usually, that's what it looks like to me. Um, so, your free will is affected on account of the census, according to who you're gonna date and marry, who you're gonna date, and who may and who you, who you may potentially marry. So, pertaining to just to survive, if you're gonna need a way to survive. You have to get down with you have to get down with a certain brotherhood if you need a way to survive. If you're gonna even have the opportunity to have a child in this world, all right. For those who don't get down, you're gonna get financially castrated, all right. Potentially turned out. Um, this will also lead into needing to know your information systems so for fetish manipulations. Uh, targeted ads are pro predominantly focused at probably uh, your fetishes to know. Uh, what type of thing you're into and to make sure that that thing is not of a natural effect Because as long as it's off the baseline of a natural effect of a male wanting a female then these These powers, okay, they enjoy that Okay, because not only does it divide the people for a buffet the the, the men to one side the females to one side to where they you know what I'm saying the enforcers they just have an open buffet towards, and the Masons just have an open buffet that they centralize in groups, especially with these dating apps, and these females be working in rings. Like most of these jobs that you look at, businesses that you see around town, you don't see them ever advertised for, for, for hiring, unless there's some type of block company, agency company that's connected to the government, okay? So a lot of these niggas is married to the game. And what they do is the ones that are free, they send these girls out. These girls don't even know they have spirits on them. So they could be doing things in a, in, a, in, a, in a slip, in a trance out. You see what I'm saying? So you, the thing is, it's like, you, you gotta do a lot of shit, man. You gotta do a lot of shit. You gotta do a lot of shit. If you take on a female, you gotta, you gotta do a lot of shit. You gotta do a lot more shit. And the fucked up part is, when you do this type of shit, people don't even see what you're doing and you can't tell them what you're doing because then that'll be some fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, 
You know what I'm saying? What are you left with? You're, you're left with being the asshole boyfriend that fucking somehow stands out amongst their other wall of boyfriends. Okay? Uh, because somehow, because somehow uh, you're an asshole and, he, and, and, and you only come to find out, shit, I'm an asshole because I tell the truth. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Females will stick together no matter what, even in a lie shit. They'll, st they'll stick the fuck together in a lot of cases. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's had my back. People been looking to maul me and rip me apart, man. Listen, a lot of these people can't stand on their ten toes. You got to build that. And I got to tell you, rejection was the best thing for me, man. Because once you stop giving a fuck about how the fuck people think about you, man, you just feel free as fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? You really do. And it's a great feeling. But fetish manipulation would be another thing that correlates with the cis with the cis and the ideation of the film The Adjustment Bureau pertains to spiritual powers that affects your free will because if they are able to manipulate your fetish and get you off that baseline and, and, and knowing that the Masons is going to take most of the market of females coming out of high school then what what you are left with okay okay what you are, what you are left with it is it, it, predominantly you're not really left with anything i'm gonna tell you that you're not left with anything so you you're castrated not only financially but also they put the things in your food so on and so forth and you get tired of watching the same stimulation so you start looking at different things to stimulate yourself it's totally normal on the excess of, of, of fucking fitness your mind would be the same way but such in the same way we would consider these steps to be steps towards a certain type of thing. And this is a subtle thing because as long as we believe that certain thing, then that thing must be true because it's a common cliche. But I can tell you it is not. Okay? You know, we do it all the time with watching movies. It would not be synonymous with fetish. So this is the subtlety of the devil. Okay? In movies, we go to a movie, we watch it, we don't think that that movie actually fucking happened. Right? You get what I'm saying? We're able to suspend belief and watch a film and leave the film where the film is at. You know what I'm saying? We do it all the time with TV shows and everything else like that. Uh, when it comes to this thing, pertaining to the Adjustment Bureau and the census, right? Then this would seem to correlate around uh, the structure of that for, pertaining to the, 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 the census, um, pertaining to progeny. I'm sorry for using that word a lot. Uh, uh, progeny in the United States. Um, because, hey man, we're trying to keep our numbers down. Along with other countries and global warming and all that other shit. So we got Planned Parenthood for the black kids. You feel me? Um, and this fetish manipulation and, and, and this adjustment is, 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 is utilized to steer society. And it's at such a level of intellect that individuals won't understand how they're being affected when it comes to eugenics, you know? I, we have this new barrage every year of different sicknesses and ailments, so on and so forth. You know, these are the things that we have to um, look at, you know, pertain to, 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 to our life. Um, this census will correlate with information systems, uh, getting your information um, uh, pertain to, let's take a, let's take an example of a Disney princess. All right. A Disney princess. Okay. That has a crown and, and a crown to me sounds like neuro tracing. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, when you think of Elon Musk neuro tracing. Okay. Uh, you know, these, this, this is, this is something that connects to an individual's uh, fucking brain. You know, when you talk about like the crown chakra, so on and so forth. So <laughs> they know how to control the body and this lets you know that they definitely know how to reanimate the body, okay? They know how to create clones and they know how to connect the brain to a particular system because all the technology is already there, okay? This turns your free radicals, let's just say, Free radicals, <laughs> let's say free radicals equal truthers. You know, uh, the, 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 the niggas in society that you consider to be divergence, that you can't, 
necessarily label or categorize or put into boxes, you know, for this uh, Operation Paperclip and this Stasi style echo, echo chamber that we exist uh, inside of, inside of this fucking corporation of Columbia. Let's say that, right? Let's say that. And therefore you go home and your profile is built around the things that you are entertained enter, enter, entertain and watching, such as your watch history uh, or, or, or websites that you frequent between your cell phone and your desktop computer. Okay, um, so let, if you're a Disney princess and you're getting groomed, but, but you don't know you don't know exactly that you're com a, a commodity amongst the the whispers of these secret councils, uh, even walking around in your own neighborhood, so on and so forth. Uh, the individuals have their information in their cell phone because you probably breathed in some smart dust, or you were potentially born with a chip. Okay, let's say that. A chip that's going to go off at some point and try to convince you that you have mental illness. But this chip that they're showing that they created is the chip that's already inside society. Such as saying the voices that these individuals hear, which are activated by radio frequency, uh, probably and, and, and some type of like fucking something as simple as a fucking protein or, 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 or copper or some shit in the body, some type of aluminum. You know, which they sprayed out in the fucking chemtrails, aluminum, right? Allegedly to block out the sun. Uh, little micro, what do you call it? Nanites of, of fucking aluminum? Come on, let's be honest. Why would you have aluminum? Why would you have aluminum nanites? You have aluminum scraps, but aluminum nanites? You're just gonna have a bunch of that shit fucking blowing in the air? Think about it. What do they have something that, that would grind fucking aluminum down into a fucking nanite? In this world, what what instrument or machine have you ever seen used like that? How do you fucking make a nanite of aluminum to just particulate the sky with in order to reflect the sun? And maybe this is the silver lining that I see in the sky when I look outside today, or or, or, or on most days, you know, you see that you know okay, maybe it's aluminum particulates, but I don't see how fucking particulates and nanites can reflect can reflect the fucking sun, the big ass. I just fucking. I don't. <laughs> I don't see how that fucking worked. So basically, your body here was turned into a fucking Wi-Fi device, and you got your cell phone, and you got your fucking desktop, and you a fucking Disney princess, right? And everybody has your fucking info and shit. They can look you up on like the fucking dark net and shit, right? And you got fucking bids and wagers on how your life is not only going to end, but also like somebody is like may have an interest in, in, in purchasing you and little to your knowledge that will end up being like your next so-called boyfriend that will control every instance of your life and you will be compliant because they can control different factors of, of, of your body and your mentality uh, according to their phone as a, as a common corporate citizen that it, that 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 that, that, that uh, uh, but in a, in a in a plagiarized sense, and I mean plagiarized in the sense that they're not a corporate citizen like you are a corporate commodity. They're a corporate citizen as in they work for the corporation. So therefore they have their perks and incentives. And these, these are underground situations that you're a part of, but you don't have any knowledge of. Okay? That, that's what it looks like a Disney princess is to, is to me. They, anything they could do, they could go on their phone, they could look you up, they could hit something, and it will cause your mind to slip, it will seem. No different than a little instrument they have in like Men in Black and shit. Cause your mind to slip or something. Next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? You in a, you, you, you in a certain type of fucking situation. All right? And I call it commoditized constellation catch net. Catch net. Pertains to Skynet, as in the the Archer has a net. That net is that network or that internet that you have on your computer, your cookies and your caches, um, your purchases according to your credit card, um, uh, uh, websites that you visit, social media profiles, apps that you have on your phone, and all your personal information, along with your um, profile on like LinkedIn or job sites, including your address, so on and so forth, is being databased. And cryptocurrency, if we come up on that, okay? Completely, all right? And where is this catch net stored at? It's, it's stored in the constellation of which there's 88. And you could say that my 
information is in the cloud, which clouds are connotative with UFOs in scripture. Look at the cover of note. So all of your information is, 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 is for the most part, either being collected or, or, or exploited. The, this was something they always were going to do. And this is the only way that things work. So they have to get your compliance. So what does that mean if they have to get your compliance? It's going to be a shit show until everybody complies with some type of fucking registry. Okay. And this is no different than uh, Nazi Germany or fucking some type of Gestapo shit where you need some fucking papers to get from point A to B. I mean, it's just we have a different clothes over here in America, but it's still very much so the same, is it not? And we're heading towards that way, it would seem like. So I'm looking to see at, 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 at deeper things than any type of issues for the most part of what we talk about pertain to politics, although that's important too, in order for me to understand the integrity of one's character, but also uh, in the sense, in the direction that, that, that we are headed. You know, somebody that makes over a certain amount of money, okay, why are they gonna let loose their, their, their human resources or their slaves or their commodities? They're not, they could get what they want, how they want it, when they want it. You understand what I'm saying? And all of your information and your locations and everything you do after you enter into, I believe that masonry for the most part, um, somebody, if they wanted to, not saying that that's what's happening now, cause it's not like it's locked down, but it's like somebody can find them, okay? Uh, and you become a commodity and you have to do favors and you have to go along with the program because if you don't, you don't eat. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. Or they could do something with your chip. You know what I'm saying? You are a property at that point. You're a commodity. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I keep kicking these females in the pocket in which they have tater tots because I'm fucking pissed, dude. I'm like, dude, are you fucking serious? Like, I fucking, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, you can't fucking, you can't speak up. You can't say like, yeah, this place totally fucking sucks. Or you can't, you can't fucking, like, are you serious? I didn't even loosen like one tooth on the beast in order to have like a, a fucking opportunity to have some type of fucking girlfriend or some shit. Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? Well, I gotta take a gun into McDonald's. Just get niggas to hear me be like Michael Douglas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to flex around fast food. <laughs> don't call the cops. You understand what I'm saying? I, uh, <laughs> hopefully, nobody was triggered. <laughs> Don't call the cops. You feel me? So these commodities, of course I'll be mad at the female. I'll be mad at the female because I'll be like, are you fucking serious? And I'll fucking see you fucking walk down the street with motherfucking Ophi. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, dude. <laughs> what is this guy? Is this guy some type of fuck, fucking tech mogul? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. You gotta be jealous of niggas for their jobs. Hey man, the nerds really stuck it to niggas. And I was an outcast. I was I was cool with everybody, man. I actually like nerds and shit. I can't believe they would do this shit to this nigga. Oh, I can't believe these niggas got me in this motherfucking predicament. <laughs> so, this shit is like hunting. You know what I'm saying? For these Disney princes. They're hunting and the reason why they may not find what they look for or that love interest they look for, a lot of them are very attractive no matter how attractive they are. It's just something where it's just like, something just doesn't, I don't know what it is. Something just doesn't fucking, pretty woman walking down the street. That's all they gotta be is pretty, man. You already know. You already know. You're like, gosh damn, I wish I had your fucking serial number on the fucking black market. I would look you up in my cell phone right now. <laughs> 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 People have purchased, man. Slavery hasn't ended, man. You understand what I'm saying? Um, what else? 
So your information and the sites that you look up and the type of words that you look up uh, down to the auxiliary words that surround those words and things that you might potentially work just like when you hear a song on Pandora the, 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 the playlist is based around a certain sound or a certain artist you know what I'm saying of certain relativity the AI picks up all that shit and generates you a profile okay and then it seeks to understand analyze and understand you and categorize you in a certain type of way if most society would appear to be broken down in that manner Okay. Um, they allow you to get away with things in order to have your compliance. And once they have your compliance, these individuals, even though they might not be Disney princesses or individuals that could buy Disney princesses, they are in, in, in another form of slavery that deals with the red game or, or, or usually a lot of times murder or art or wet work. Okay. It, 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 it's just a different tier. Okay. But, uh, the net pertains to the internet or the internal networks, which pertains to the thoughts of an individual. Remember on Facebook, it would ask, what are you, uh, what's on your mind? And as people got more comfortable with putting in there what's on their mind, they began to dare, uh, air out their dirty laundry. Okay. Um, this would coincide with AI as, as something I, as I would appear appear to me to be Orwellian or as in the thought police. And I believe that these Disney princesses are controlled upon their mind and have many individuals around there at any given time to give them trigger words, so on and so forth. And this is part of the secret works to keep them in everlasting chains of darkness in which they are vessels either to be sold to spirits or uh, as male order brides uh, right here under our, our, our noses. So of course, yes, I'm gonna be mad. I'm, you guys, what the fuck? I mean. You know what I'm saying? It would be a lot quieter if you just, you know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna pass on, I got ahead of myself. I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass on the yacht. <laughs> okay? Uh, it's a lot of fucking, dude, I almost vomited. It's a lot of fucking pizza gate shit going on, man. And I gotta tell you, man, I fucking, this shit, this shit is so fucking crazy. Like my whole feet and the back of my calf and like my right butt cheek and my stomach on the left side, man, just gets all queasy when I talk about this Pizzagate shit that I don't see it directly, but I, I, you guys, let me put it to you like this. I know it's fucking there. Like a, like a fucking shark knows that there's blood in the water. It, it will fucking know. I know it. I fucking know it. But... <laughs> I haven't seen it directly, but I kind of have, but I haven't. Not, not enough to chimpanzee out. <laughs> I can't take it, dude. It's just such an odd fucking vibe, dude. And I, I know it's like, who made it? And the thing is, it's like, I'm not looking for it, but I kind of am, dude. Because it's like, if I see that shit, you know what I'm saying? You know how a chimpanzee will just fucking flip out, may do a backflip and throw it like, fucking shit from their ass and just throw it at somebody's face. Like, I'm gonna flip out. Like, I'm gonna go totally fucking nuts, bro. If I see some irregular ass shit like that. <laughs> you know, man, if the nigga's Illuminati or none of that shit, I'm gonna fucking, and you just gonna hear a loud, ah! I'm gonna just fucking, <laughs> I'm gonna lose all sorts of my shit, nigga. I'm gonna lose all sorts of my shit if I see that shit out here, bro. I'm just letting you niggas know, man. Gosh damn, you see a black dude walking around, you know what I'm saying, you know, around fucking Lee Summit Road or whatever, you got certain afflictions. Hey, man, you, 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 you make sure that individual is out of the area first before you do something weird. Cause, <laughs> bro, I fucking, that shit is different. You niggas on different level. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, your personal data, man, is stored, okay? The constant individuals you constantly see, these individuals know exactly where you're at, especially if you have any connection to black market. <clears throat> Masons and all the females, you fucking hog, you fucking demons, nigga. <laughs> yeah, so here, <laughs> 
there are 88 constellations. You understand what I'm saying? And 88 is a number that also correlates with Back to the Future with uh, the guy that, that would say like, what do you say, beat me up Scotty or that correlates with like uh, Angel Dust or PCP or Crystal Meth. All this pertains to like being beamed up to some type of fucking uh, uh, mothership, I think. You know what I'm saying? When you get beamed up uh, <clears throat> or raptured off the earth. So your, your vessel will just be walking around on earth. So these, listen. These indications that you get into uh, w with these distance princesses while they're waiting to be purchased and, and they're just working in red, um, um, trafficking drugs and fucking, um, uh, 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 fucking Johns and tricks and shit. Like they fucking <laughs> like, dude, like what, when individuals just hook up with them and, and, and become some type of client or whatever, they start looking, these UFOs start looking into your information. And then what they'll do is this uh, uh, while you're with the honeypot or later, they'll start taking, they'll start scalping parts of your skull if, if they can get away with it. Okay. So the individual, you, it, it, that's what I'm saying. You could lose your soul out here. All right. So when you talk about the meek shall inherit the hurt earth, it's talking about niggas that you deem as losers like me. So when you call me a loser, you know what I'm saying? I automatically knew I won. You know what I'm saying? But you can't have a loser cannot have a crowd. You know what I'm saying? So either way, I win. You know what I'm saying? The shit's a checkmate. It's so fucking crazy, nigga. Niggas out here in society fucking with a nigga like me. <laughs> All road we road, nigga. <laughs> so, hey, man. It's written in scripture that uh, a, a man who insults so-called the devil insults himself, be it that that devil would be a reflection of, of, of himself, I suppose, or the common sense of man. However, never mind, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> I think you get my point without me saying it just that much. Peace and blessings with all you guys, man. Uh, you don't want a crown in this world. You don't want to ascend in this upside down kingdom because that's going to correlate with mind control. If God is sovereign and gives free will, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you would want, you would want, I guess, a, 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 the crown of life. And the crown of life correlates that when a child leaves the earth, or rather is born from his mother, they are, they call it crowning when a baby's head, all right, comes out the, the out the vagina. They call it crowning. So therefore, um, this would be an expression of life. All right. Having crowns that, that, that pertain to um, types of uh, any type of things that correlate with rulership of this world. OK, if you're talking about the world, the structure that sits on the earth, that would not be good. OK, so Disney princesses, man, they're, 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 they're probably great. If you get one, you got to you got to uh, if you understand how that, that mind works, you got to work with that mind because ultimately you would be dating a ufo ship and the reason why you would be dating that ufo ship it wouldn't be an actual person-to-person -person relationship unless it's just a a fucking transactional a, a transaction that is just of the minute a minute just you know having sex okay that's about as 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 deep as that can go because that mothership is going to uh, be looking at you pertaining to like, so what's up? Do you want to sign a contract or, you know what I'm saying? Seeing if it could snatch your body or utilize you for any resources. Um, because the mothership has a, a survival mentality that is based on, on, on the wilderness and, and some form of scarcity. And it's going to be based upon survival. Okay. Due to mankind's fall. All right. So that's what it is, man. Um, Peace and blessings with you all, all right, man? Um, I don't, I'm not sure if you will want a crown in, in this world. If you have a crown in this world, this that means you're a goat, okay? Um, that's all it means. And and um, it, it, it also will indicate uh, particular lifestyles, okay? Uh, peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.